Hello and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you are all doing very well out there. And um, I made the decision um, based on previous views that um, in future I'm just going to focus on the storyline of this as um, that seems to be what gets the most views. Uh, rather than go through doing all the side quests. So unless the side quests are relevant to the storyline, such as obviously um, Sebastian Sellows and Natty's and uh, um, Poppies are, then obviously there won't there won't be any um, other side quests done. Now um, what I will do is talk to Professor, Professor? Hickett. What can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. You do seem to have come to terms with things rather well. It's a matter of perspective. Without saying more, perhaps whatever time I've lost was an exchange for time gained. And to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point, no magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes, I can tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. <laughs> yes, Professor. So it's good to have these little chats with the professors because some of them, like Professor Hackett, will indicate to you that um, they kind of do know about what is going on between you and, obviously, um... Right, I'm not... I did say that I wouldn't... I would focus only on... Yeah, so basically, you know, they they will hint at you that they do know what's going on between you, Ranrock, and Rookwood. Um, but all, with the exception of it appears to be um, is Professor Weasley and obviously Professor Black. <laughs> right, okay. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the armory? Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes. And a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. 
Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. I'll have a look for you. You certainly give me plenty to go on. Ah, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Right. Okay, so... I don't know why I keep pressing the wrong button to bring the map up. Um, so, it's going to be in the world map, and I don't think I've. Right, let's go back to the Hogwarts map. probably going to the wrong one but either one of them is just as still as easily close and I do technically need to I think activate the beast blue flame while I'm here well anyway um so been doing a little bit more research into the speculations of um, a definitive edition and um, no news on that so far um, but um, there has been some kind of news dropped about Hogwarts Legacy 2 so I don't think there's any needs well, it's the the passion that I'm getting is that um, whatever happens in our timeline will affect what happens in the Harry Potter timeline. But I don't think it might be specifically to our character per se. Um, it will just be possibly the fact that they might actually decide to bring in... Um, a connection to us and Dumbledore. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. So, um, yeah, it wouldn't be... Um, I mean, I think everybody kind of anticipated that that might be the case that um, Dumbledore would be involved as it would obviously be his first year if they follow the year pattern. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Where are those statues? But I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Right, okay, so first of all, let's pick that up. Hmm, um, map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Right, the reason I do this standing back here is because um, when I did it on another occasion, I fell off the ledge. This will do nicely. Nothing. No statues here. I'd best keep looking. Also, it kind of makes it easier to... Um, Empty pot. 
arches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. I love the way the owls just do a ginger little swivel from the power of our Rakio. Guessing I must oh Actually, so I must have missed one. Right, okay, so let's go into sorry, I'm just readjusting my headphones, sorry. Right, sorry about that. What's happening? solved my puzzle after all these years well done indeed good news if you've got something to hide you found the perfect spot richard jackdaw at your service the richard jackdaw so mr Ollivander was right he wants his family wand back goodness i'd forgotten about that wand i assure you i don't have it on me i'm almost certain i dropped it the moment i was beheaded in that cave Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons but as you can see i never got the chance how is it possible to steal from peeves a poltergeist i didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form i merely found them in his wake of destruction he's got a penchant for wrecking things books bottles suits of armor whatever's likely to cause the most chaos i doubt he even noticed they were gone if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Right, okay. Oh, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Right, so uh, we need to go to, uh, is it marked up? 
no, but we it will take us to where we need to go to anyway. I probably did that too soon. Can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Right, so let's just quick look at the have a look at the outfit that I picked up. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think I may need to visit um, uh, what's his name? Or oh, Gladrags. So I think I will do that now. So let's quickly just go back to Hogsmeade. So some of these bits you'll probably um, end up seeing. I'm guessing um, I can't give him a tip right now. Extra, extra. Right. So Irish witch has finally awoken after 600 years in a bewitched sleep, during which she said to have been inherited by the successive generations of her family, along with her ancestral home in Donegal, and a pair of rather nice clogs. Speaking to the Daily Prophet, a family member said, had this to say, she came with the house, a bit of a strange heirloom, we thought, but not, but I'm not about to sniff at tradition. We simply kept the room, room locked, I had no idea she was my great 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 um well you get the picture when asked for comment the witch herself said they say a good night's sleep is the secret to a long life well it's been 600 years and i can't say that they were wrong <laughs> i wonder if that was meant to be like a little nod to um uh what's his name that had the had the uh Philosopher's Stone. Can't think of his name right now. Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Philomel. So I was trying to think of. <laughs> One of that was meant to be like a little nod to him. Not mess around. Expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Uh, so the world map. Forbidden forests. Speed up time. Right, my dearest Apollonia, would you care to join me for a picnic? I know you enjoy a good Cornish pasty almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon. I hope yours, Richard. Right, so I know some people have never got Lewis. this, although I'm sure they have this subsequent um, playthroughs. Um, I certainly didn't get it right away. I know technically this is a side quest, but as we were on our way to Richard Jackdaw, I kind of know where it's going anyway. The treasure must be nearby. 
I suppose a picnic treasure hunting suits me. Here we go. Alright, so we still haven't learned Confrego yet. Okay, so let's go and um, speak to Mr. Jackdaw. Oh, good um, bit of Scottish music there. So the other thing you will probably see me do after this is start up in the um, difficulty level. So one thing I have learned is that these little glow things here um, are... Um, actually tell you if there's something there here I am as good as my word right let me just highlight this we meet again Richard Jackdaw I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge well said now where do we go from here Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? I, I just realised I got this. <laughs> Okay, off we go then, Richard. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know... The closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Right, well. Nothing to do now but keep going. Oh, it's the centaurs down there. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw surprisingly as good as his word. Right, so that's of no extra value. Oh, I just realised. Um, there was an item I had that needed to be on that I'd unlocked. Oh, 
I think that was actually, yep, that was it. Oh, the wrong way. <laughs> I've seen a bit more um, in the way of um, stags and deers, or deers as a whole. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Incendio. Intramuros. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. We'll report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. I love the fact that somebody's actually been doing some study in here. I'd love to know who that was and what they felt they'd discovered. I wonder how big this place is. Right, so my plan for wanting to get this done is purely because if there is a definitive edition with extra um, 10 to 15 hours of play, um, I would like it to be done with this playthrough that I'm doing at the moment. Um, So obviously, as I said previously, it's not going to be a full playthrough um, because Some I've already done the hundred percent. I wonder if I can spend me through this. Right, I apologise now to anybody that's got arachnophobia. I've got it. Oh. Okay, I didn't expect to get both of those, only at least maybe one.
I should perhaps maybe start wearing some of the outfits that we get in there. I don't seem to wear them all. I mean, I've nearly, I think, done well over 900 hours on this. I might do a sort of like a special of the um, arenas specifically. I had planned to kind of do it um, for Halloween, but fortunately things didn't pan out quite that way. Summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may have this. I do like the way that um, this is sort of like the only time kind of says things in a very sort of like darkish way touched chest Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave You can probably tell that I've done over 900 hours of playthrough on this. So I have played all the other houses through. Um, and the only reason I'm doing Ravencrawl again on this one is because I say I want this character to be the one that... Um, Oh, I could have, um... Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Oh. I thought I'd got, um... Rebellio. Yes, um, so that I can use this as, um, my playthrough for that definitive, um, edition. I will do my utmost best to get this completed before Christmas. Expecting something to attack me then. Must have been something that went by me rather than. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Accio. Incendio.
Oh, I thought there was some spiders behind me. Not a headless skeleton in I don't understand why they but I may as well help myself to this. <laughs> I don't know why they get you to the Petrificus Totalus on then when you haven't received the proper spells at this point. I think this was one of the things that kind of irritated me a little was the repeating of sentences, but then Sorry. Right. Yes, as I say, sorry. <laughs> Now it is said that if you wear this outfit before you go up to um, uh, so Cadogan, um, so if you wear it bef and go and get the um, Revelio page, he'll um, challenge you. <laughs> Uh, right, was this, right, was there anything else, other reasons to come down this way? Yes, this is the way we're supposed to be going. There was a patch for this last week, on updates. Um, and the reason being is because they were doing an update for the PlayStation Pro. Um. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh, this just cut off mid-sentence there. Oh, keep pressing the wrong, wrong button. I do apologise. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Uh. 
Right, okay. So the next stage, or the last stage. Oh, there it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. Yeah, so if you're arachnophobic, I wouldn't suggest. Well, the actually, they, to be fair, if you go into settings, um, I believe it's in this one. Nope, might be in this one. They do have an arachnophobia mode, so if you turn that on, um, basically what it does, it turns them into uh, spiders with skates on, like Ron sees in his, um, when he does his ridiculous, ridiculous with the, um, when he faces the boggart. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Right, so we've got the Malice Suite while we're here. Forgot that we wasn't go <laughs> didn't need to go through them. Um... Must be getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Doll. Oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Another new scarf. I have to admit, um, I've noticed in some of the updates that um, it seems to sort of like get the higher level outfits. Um, so I think that's what makes it easier to. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? I mean, I don't know how you can tell from that. I really don't. Right, who wants to go first? So it must be it, surely.
Right, so what I suggest you do is if you're doing this... What's it is, when you see that card reveal... I have to say, I'm kind of enjoying them much more. But that's a bit more of the um, challenge. I've seen this before. Green gods and the restricted section. So obviously, when you, you know your powers are at spell powers and they're, they're all full height. Then, um, Where am I? even on the hard level, oh, no. the which I have played in, um, to an extent, um, How am I being it does become fairly easy to beat a lot of them. This magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of it. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention and... Might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Right, I'm not going to do the talent points now. Um, I mean, I will perhaps just do these three quickly. But I'll do all the others um, off screen. Right, so... Let's go and activate the flu flame for this area. 
should just have enough time to go to Hogsmeade. Pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Let him say his little bit about being back at Hogwarts. I'm back at Hogwarts. Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Revelio. Right, so I just quickly want to go back to Hogsmeade. Um, and as I want to sell the item of clothing that I got, I, might, um, I want to show you this just quickly before I end. You need to learn to Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Right, so if you go back to Ollivander, you can tell him what happens to his wand. Greetings, Mr. Ollivander. I visited the Owlery, as you suggested. Oh, it's the intrepid young sleuth. Well, what did you find? Was my inkling correct? It was, but I don't think either of us could have predicted where I'd end up. Most intriguing. Where did it all lead? I met the ghost of Richard Jackdaw himself. He pointed me to the cave where he died, wand in hand. Astonishing! So, he was the culprit, and? I did indeed find your family wand, but it was in pieces, beyond repair. Ah, well, I suppose I'm not surprised after all this time. Most unfortunate, but there you have it. In any case, you have mine and my family's thanks. At least now we know what happened. I shall tell them what I've learned and what you have done for us. There we go. So, something that I didn't know I could do in the last playthrough. So, as I say, I'm going to go up to Glad Rags, but for the moment. Hand them back, sir. But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How <laughs> many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. She stole from him. <laughs> you think that's... Wow. Right, okay, so, yeah, that's going to be it. I will do the flying class. Um, in fact, I will do that as part of the next, because um, uh, these are actually uh, part of the main storyline, so I do need to do that in the next episode. So things like the assignments and that I will do in the meantime, um, as I say, outside of... Um, the episodes so thank you very much for watching this today I will try and get the next one out as soon as possible um, but for now goodbye and thank you very much for watching and also thank you to all the new subscribers that I've received and to anybody that has liked um, any of my um, previous um, uh uploads and things like that i appreciate it very much and um next week obviously will be a big week as well because the dlc drops for um for disney's dreamlight valley so um 
going to be quite a busy few weeks, I think, um, leading up to Christmas. Um, but as I say, thank you very much for everybody that subscribed. Thank you for all those that have commented. Thank you for all those that have liked any of my uploads. I uh, appreciate it very much. And until the next episode, goodbye and thank you very much. And have a very good weekend as well.